Senator Dr. Ifani Okua is a political colossus. He's a leader. A leader with a rare quality. When I mean a, a rare quality, Senator Dr. Ifani Okua is a leader that is so thoughtful, so detailed. He possesses a quality that is lacking in other politicians. He's a man that knows you and knows everything about you. You know, he is somebody that is so detailed to the extent that in every community, this somebody sometimes I begin to ask how he does it. In every community, not even word, he knows every political leader that are relevant to the political um, missionary of the state. He knows them and he has a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. That's a very rare quality that is missing in almost all the leaders. But most importantly also, in the course of knowing them also, Senator Dr. Fanyo Kowa is a man of his words. You will agree with me that most politicians in Nigeria say what they want to say, not from their mind, just to please you at the moment. But that is not the governor that we have. If he tells you he's going to do A, he will do it and he will do it to the last word that he made. And that is why his name is Ikwewe. So he possesses, because of this quality that he possesses, you see, a leader does not look for what his followers are looking for. So he is selfless about it. He listens to you. And so because of that, followership is uh, it's not persuaded. People tend to follow him. People tend to agree with him because they know that he's selfless. They know that he has not come to deceive us. We also see the developmental uh, strides that he's doing in the state. So because of that, people are willing not being coerced people are willing to make him to see him as our leader and because of that he's been able to galvanize i doubt if there's any political leader or juggernaut in delta state that senator dr fan Yokowa does not have a good will with and so because of that it becomes seamless things that people find very difficult to do you see senator dr fan Yokowa galvanizing first of all the delta not aspect of it which is doing excellently well galvanizing us and giving us a direction Direction. And people are willing to follow him because they know that his words are his actions. So those are qualities that nobody can take from him. Honestly, it's a privilege and he is a gift to Delta State. And not only in Delta State, even in Nigeria, his kinds of politics is what should be. And it is very rare to find such qualities in other persons. I personally have seen it and those qualities have endeared me so strongly to him that forever I have recognized and accepted him as my leader politically. Honestly, I don't see Okoa. If you if you if you notice his antecedents, he has never failed in any in any struggle. And the reason, the reason why he has never failed and why he will not fail God's willing is because why he believes in equity, he comes with a sincere mind. He doesn't deceive. He tells you the way it should be. He tells you the way it should be. And to me, that is what endears people to follow a leader. So uh, I don't see any conspiracy against Senator Dr. Uh, Ifa Yokoa working because he's not doing it for his own personal aggrandizement. A very humble man, humble to the core. Call him tomorrow, you have his number. If you are privileged to have his number, you call him, he picks his call. Whatever class you are, who does that? Even the local government chairman cannot do that. That is the highest form of unassuming nature or disposition I have ever seen in a governor. So he's leading by example and showing leadership in practice that says give the power back to the people, relate with your people. So I don't see him, I have not seen any match, I have not seen him being stopped by anybody. Nigerians are becoming aware, Nigerians are seeing what politics should be and he's setting a, a, a landmark, he's setting a standard for what politics should be and the majority are with him. So I see that man like, you know I started this, I tell you that he's a colossus, he's a political colossus and he has earned it. He didn't, it wasn't by any fraudulent manner. His job by his own way, natural and his followership are increasing every day. People like us are ready to go any length with him. Not because of what we are gaining. I'm not following him because of what I do. 
your body. We game monetarily anyway. But I'm following him because number one, I'm getting an experience. I'm challenged. I'm motivated by his humility, his sincerity of heart. And for such person, that is my mentor. That is my political standard that I want to, you know, also follow. And if I see such man that possesses it, why will I not follow him? So if my likes and some other persons who believe in him even more than I do could stand by him, I don't think there's anything that can stop him.